that this motion is not about the person and conduct and ability of Senator Kithure Kindiki in the House. I think if there's anybody who came to that conclusion, then they are, they are arguing the wrong motion. And indeed, Mr. Speaker, I am one of the last persons, and there are many senators who are with me that fateful evening. I think Senator Moro was there. Where we are looking for a pathway. We didn't want to go through this process. We are looking for a pathway of how to resolve this matter. And we were up at night until about 1 a.m. in the morning. I had the privilege of talking to Senator Kindiki, the Deputy Speaker, looking for a way out of this quagmire. Because as it has been said, this matter has been brought by a coalition, the Jubilee Coalition. It's not been brought by the NASA Coalition. And Mr. Speaker, that being the case, and Mr. Speaker, you know this, and Senator Kithuri Kintike knows this, that when this House congregated for the first time for the election of the Speaker, or the Deputy Speaker, or the leadership of the House, everything depended on the decisions of the political parties. Senator Olekina, Ledama, a very qualified senator, he ran for the office of the Deputy Speaker. We could not marshal enough numbers. It was a question of competence. It was a question of numbers. That is how, at the end, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, you, you were elected as a speaker of the Senate, and Senator Kindiki was elect, elected to them. You are just being a little bit clever, uh, clever by half. You know, the problem with this man was put in, he died. He died. But after he died, what happened to the Tsar of Russia? History will tell. History will tell. The Jubilee Party should sit together as to whether you're going to obey the Tsar or you're going to obey Rasputin. That's when this problem is going to end. You cannot have an army with two field marshals. This is what is happening and is causing havoc to this country. There's a time, Mr. Speaker, I said on the floor of this house that Jubilee is dysfunctional. And we want a party that is functional, like a party that is in government. So we are coming together as Republicans, as Kenyans, to ensure that the two years that Jubilee has, you can at least do something with it. These things you are talking about, COVID, and I hear Senator Cheriot coming here, is now the greatest campaigner for the rights of the people. But look at the motions we brought here. I can challenge Senator for Karicho of how he has voted in the past on matters that concern the people. So I am pleading that Senator Kithure Kindiki, this is probably not quite your day. Not quite your day. But I think you did the right deed for the wrong reason. For the wrong reason. For the wrong reason. And that's why you are here being uh, you know, the center of this motion when I know that really you should not be at the center of this motion. But you did a wrong deed, right. Right. right deed, for the wrong reason, because that reason did not relate to the commander of your party and in addressing the agenda that he had agreed that should be addressed to attain a one Kenya indivisible that can, in the end, be judged as uh, a, a truly prosperous nation. And I, I want to say in the end this, you know, these days, people talk to politics like they are playing with toys. We have people here in this house 
who have been dragged out of this house and murdered. There are people who have been detained for 10 years. We are, we, are, we are talking as if this Senate cannot have the same kind of people to sacrifice. And they shout the loudest out there about talking about the truth and justice. Justice, you can only talk about justice if the president is talking about fighting against corruption. You should be the loudest and saying that we are fighting against corruption. But what do we hear? That corruption is being politicized. Corruption is being politicized. Now, who is going to speak for the government in this house? And Mr. Speaker, therefore, I want to end by uh, saying this just to uh, address finally some of the issues that Senator uh, Murkumen was talking about. There are constitutional offices. If you look at the Constitution, including being members of parliament, the member, if you are to be recalled, if you are to be recalled, the Constitution say it's itself the manner in which you, you, you'll be recalled, and the manner in which the accusations against you must be addressed. In fact, if I may read, Parliament shall enact legislation to provide for the grounds on which a member may be recalled, so that a member of Parliament cannot be recalled without any grounds. So where the Constitution thinks that it is important to put out grounds, like when you are impeaching a judge of the High Court, or you are seeking the removal of the Director of Public Prosecution, or you are seeking to remove the Auditor General, you are required to state the grounds. And they must fall within the remit that is found in the Constitution. But when it comes to the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker, there is no such requirement. Article 106. And if you may read it, the office of the Speaker or Deputy Speaker shall become vacant when a new House of Parliament first meets after an election. B, if the office holder as a member of the relevant House vacates office under Article 103. C, if the relevant House so resolves by a resolution supported by the votes of at least two-thirds. Two, two so he says what you require is a resolution. And at the end of this debate, we are going to have a resolution. And therefore, Article 47 was not being well interpreted and constructed in the context of the Constitution. And the Constitution itself says, and I'm glad about Senator Wambua when he said, when there are specific provisions of the Constitution relating to a particular circumstances, then you cannot fall on the general provisions of the Constitution. You follow the provisions that are set out in the Constitution and they have been elaborated in the standing orders. And Mr. Speaker, on this question, one can go on and on and on. Now, this parliament, I know, is going to be required to play a very critical role in the next two or three months. Because when there is constitution making, when there is reforms, parliament must be at the center of it. And we must, as a parliament, as a senate, be together in this great, 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 great uh, quest to make Kenya a better country. And therefore, those who have decided, and they have those who believe in the course they have taken in trying to reform the country, and they need the support of institutions, including parliament, they must be rest assured that you're having a reforming parliament. And I disagree that this Senate can be described as a bad Senate. Uh, there is in British history, uh, parliaments have been described in many ways, the bad parliament, uh, the, the, the good parliament, and so on. But I think in this Senate, we have tried, and the greatest victory is this case that Senator Omugeni argued before the Supreme Court that clearly says that Senate has got a critical role to play in legislation, including the allocation of revenue and the processes that, that are set out in the Constitution. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I think Jubilee should go back 
uh, think very heavily yeah, uh, so that this matter is resolved. But from the language I had here today, Mr. Speaker, from the language I had here today, and Senator, uh, Senator Kindiki, I think your case was made worse because it was as if this case was against other forces who are not here in this house. There was attack and attack and attack against offices that are not involved in this debate. And when people say that Kenya is already a dictatorship and they elect to remain in that same government, remain in that same party, I think there is no honesty and there's, people are not being candid. I think if you think that Kenya should move forward in the path of democracy, then let us work together to make Kenya a better country. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I support the motion. Leader of Majority, Senator Bogisho.